Hello, I'm Mathieu from Nudevox and today I am going to give you a brief overview of Edenia. Edenia is a space exploration game for 2-4 players ages 8 and up and it plays in around 30 minutes. So in this game we are sheep and we kind of ate everything on our planet and we want to explore the universe in search of wonderful meadows and pastures. Um, namely the planet Edenia which is all green and grassland so that's what we want. There are a few ways to win. Um, two of which, uh, so first, if you get your three sheep on Edenia first, you win the race and you win the game. The other thing that you can do is collect the most victory points because uh, there is another way to end the game and if you get the most victory points, which is at the same time represented by this Edenia tokens, but also by uh, Turbo Clovers, by artifacts that you're going to gather around the galaxy if you, and, and flags that you're going to put on planets to colonize them, if you collect all of those, well, uh, you're going to get better and you're going to um, eventually win because you've got the most prestige. So what do I do in a player turn is very simple. I choose one of my three sheep and move it. I move it along the path and I've laid out a few times here, but uh, at the beginning of the game they aren't there. So I'm going, for example, let's assume I'm yellow and I'm going to take that blue nebulous path here. So I follow that path and I get one exploration per turn. And basically what exploring means, means that I'm going to reveal a new tile and draw a tile from the stack, lay it out on the board with the star in the corner and that's it, I've explored. I have to finish my movement if possible and um, do whatever actions I can do. There are three types of tiles in the game. So I have tiles with nothing on them but paths and maybe teleporters like here. Um, or small planets, dwarf planets, like so. So dwarf planets, um, maybe uh, exit points or stop, stopping points because there are artifacts in them and you, you might want to gather them, the artifacts. And finally, the habitable planets, if you get one of those, you're super lucky because uh, you're going to be able to colonize them. And also, you might get clover on them because they are still green. So I draw a tile, it's a, it's a planet, I'm going to put three clover on it and finish my movement. So I follow the blue path here, I land on the planet, I have to stop my movement because it's a big habitable planet, and then I have two options. Either I take a clover for myself, this clover is at the same point and the same time victory points and currency to do leapfrog, to activate certain structures around the board. So I either I take one of those or I place one of my flags. And putting a flag means that I get seven victory points. If another player comes, it, it, that player could say, okay, I don't want your flag to be there. I was there last, so I'm going to put my flag instead of yours. And that works. Also, there is, um, well, there is a black hole here. So the black hole is very interesting. If I get to a black hole, I need to choose a destination. So either there or there or there, or maybe go back. And then I roll a die and it's going to tell me what path should I choose? Should it be meteors, stars, or nebulous? I don't know. It's going to be stars. So I draw a new tile. Let's assume I haven't explored. I lay out a new tile, like so. And I follow the path. I've done my explore, so my turn would end basically here. So we also have um, the small planets. I've told you about them. So the small planets, when the tile is revealed, we're going to put two of those uh, artifact uh, tokens. And those artifact tokens are going to be worth victory points, but they also have powers that you can activate by revealing them. And those powers are very important because they might allow you to, for example, uh, teleport anywhere on the board or uh, not stop if you encounter um, a habitable planet or maybe change colors, whatever. When you pass, for example, if I take white here, when I pass here, I I can stop, I may stop on this planet to get one of the items, but I can also continue in the same direction. I can continue my path. If I stop though, I can pay one clover to get one of these two pawns, two uh, tokens. So you can also notice that on the, on the side of the board, there are a few things. You have teleporters. So teleporters are very simple. If I land on the teleporter, I stop my turn. Um, and then on a, on a subsequent turn, I can choose to teleport. I can teleport anywhere on any teleporter on, on the board. 
and my exit teleporter is going to be damaged because sheep are not very cautious with things. They kind of messed up with one planet and, you know, the teleporter is just an item. You also have converters, so that they change colors. So, for example, here, um, what the white path becomes a blue path, or here you have the choice. The white can become either blue or red. So that allows you to, um, to continue paths. And there is also bouncers, like so, so relay stations. If you get there first, you get a clover, and otherwise, every time you land on them, you can go back so you can, uh, you can have a kind of an extra move and, and go back on a path and, and do several actions. You don't have to stop on them. So um, the game ends in three ways. So first, if a player, let's say me, I get there with my three sheep, the game is over because um, my three sheep have arrived safely at the final destination. I won. Otherwise, every time a player goes there, uh, that player would take a, a token here. And the victory points decrease over time. And if there is no more tokens to be taken, um, the game ends. And uh, you count victory points. The one with the most victory point wins. And the third way of winning is if you can answer the question of life, universe, and all else. So, you know, the answer is 42. So if you get to exactly 42 points, you win the game. And at any given time, if you, ha if you have exactly that score, you stop the game, you won. Well, you know almost everything about Edenia. So bye-bye and see you on the box.